Teamwork make the dream work. Right. Teamwork make the dream work. Happy Friday. Listen, give yourself a hand if you made it this far. You might, you know, this might be a payday, whatever. This is probably your last day of the work week, unless you like KC. I work seven days straight, I think. You know what I mean? Like a lady called me earlier. She said, uh, she says, is, is the place open? I'm like, listen, I'm open 24 hours later. Look, look, I help people around the clock. You know what I mean? What do I do? I connect the pockets to the paychecks. Mr. KC connects paychecks to pockets. Meet the new boss of in-home health care. My name is KC. They call me Kayon Church. That's my real name. Listen, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. Let me know if you watch me. This is day five. Whew, day five. Look, these five days been hard, too, because I made a promise. I'm going to go live every day. This is like my 365-day challenge. You know what I mean? Hopefully, you're watching it. You're going to pick up some good big hearted in home health care information, you know what I mean? If not, you going you just gonna learn how to love me for the next three sixty five. You know what I mean? You you in it with me. But that's great because I love you too. You know what I mean? So they ask me all the time, KC, what do you do? What do you do? I don't know how they see me every day and they don't know what I do. But I'm gonna tell you anyway. What do I do? I help financially challenge family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long term health care program. And uh, why that program is so special is because I think we tapped into something that helps out a lot of people. You know, a lot of people are struggling. A lot of people got families that they got to take care of. I don't even know if you know my, 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 my real, my real, real, real story. I'm going to tell you it's a secret. It's a secret. So, look, don't share this with anybody else. You know what I mean? Unless, you know, they hear it from me. But I had two sick parents in two hospitals in two different states uh, that was coming home at the same time. You know what I mean? Now... I don't know about you, you know what I mean? Because, you, you know, you might be taller than me. You might be stronger than me. You might you might have more money than me. You, you, you know, I don't know. You might run faster. I don't know. But it's hard to take care of more than one person on one income. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like Living Color, my man used to say, yo, man, dude got 13 jobs, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, you don't want to have 13 jobs. You want to have one job that really pays, you know what I mean? If you're doing one thing, you maybe want to supplement that. But if you, I ain't going to say stuck, but if you was nice enough to extend your hand and take care of some other people, you know what I mean, and, and look out for the cookout, you don't want to go broke. <laughs> going broke looking out for the cookout ain't fun at all. And it's not really going to be a cookout. It's going to be a hangout because y'all going to be broke. You feel me? So... If you don't want to be broke for the cookout, man, give me some likes. Give me some hearts, man. Show me some love, man. Listen, because I'm going to tell y'all how to put it all together, and I'm going to help you. You know what I mean? So that's the real thing. You get the big benefit of working with me personally. You know what I mean? Now, unfortunately or fortunately, you know, people can call me and just get directly at me. You know what I mean? Right now, I don't even got no walls, no filters. Like, if you need me, I'm helping you, you know? And the reason why I named this episode teamwork make the dream work is because all week all we did is help people i told my buddy the other day i said yo i'm gonna be a millionaire in the next five minutes he said why you say that i said because i helped a lot of people this week you know what i mean now the only way i know to truly get to the bag is to help a lot of people you want to make a lot of money you got to help a lot of people so we on a crust we on a quest right now to put the paycheck in people's pockets and to help a lot of people you know what i mean that's 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 what it's we all about 2021 you know we're going to get it going. Hey, see, how you doing? <laughs> Talk to him, baby. Let him know. Let him know. Look, start a watch party. Uh, I don't know. You know, share this whole episode. Do what you got to do, but let everybody know. Listen, if your family member that you're taking care of is Medicaid, long-term health care, KC going to help you out. KC going to make sure you, you know, you having some money to sustain with. You know, I'm going to keep it funky with you. You know, it's Friday. I'm going to run Pop to his little spot. He got to go to dialysis. I'm going to pick him up. He's going to say, look, man, shoot me over here, man. I'm trying to get a, something to eat. He he, 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 you know, whatever he want. Really, he do because he the OG in the building. So I can't just be like pulling over and we don't have no money. It ain't going to work. I'm going to get to the counter. They're going to say, let me have your money, sir. I'm going to be like, hey, man, we had the cookout, but we empty. So don't be empty at the cookout. You want to you wanna bring some steaks for that grill. You know what I mean? You, I don't know what you're putting in your cup, but it's Friday. You want to be able to fill that cup up today. You know what I'm saying? No money equal no fun. You know what I mean? And listen, we don't want none of that. And 
being though I figured it out, I'm going to tell it to you. You know what I mean? You my favorite kind of person. I don't even know if you know that because you here with me. You know what I mean? All them other lames, they on the other side. It's me and you right now. And I'm going to help you out because I know you need it. You know what I mean? So, look, do what you got to do. Let me know. <sighs> now, I'm going to tell you all a little story and then I'm going to get out of here. I don't really want to be bragging or nothing like that. I ain't trying to brag. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? I really, uh, I really got a strong ego, but I, I'm not a, a bragging type person. I do. Now, if you know me, I do love to talk trash, though. You got to know that. So, I'm going to tell you. Good morning, Miss Ladea. How you doing today? Look, I'm going to tell you. He says, bring you on the camera. <laughs> I should bring you on the camera, too. You always Listen, shout out to Miss Ladea. She always, in the morning, she say, look, Casey, you're supposed to go live today, man. You know? So, shout out to her. She sets everything up for us. She's a wonderful person. You know, but the whole Reliable A staff is wonderful. I don't even know if you know. Lady called me last night, and she said, uh... She said, that lady that uh, that that I talked to, she said, oh, man, she's such a nice lady. Uh, this and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And, I, and I'm like, hold on. I said, listen, all I work with is women. I don't know if that's fortunately or unfortunately, but every woman that works at Reliable Aid is a very, very nice person. So it was really hard for me to tell who are you talking about. Like, you know what I mean? Because we got a great staff around here. And... Um, we bringing on some good virtual people. I don't know if you know any virtual people or not, but I'm talking to you, so I'm gonna tell you everything. You know what I mean? Listen, I had a young lady call me, um, and she said, KC, she said, uh, I've been trying to get this Medicaid. Uh, she said she was trying to get into the program. She had Medicaid, but she wasn't in a long-term health care program. You know what I mean? Now, she's a good friend of mine. She don't mind me telling all her business on the wire. You know what I mean? But can't really talk about, you know, specifics because it's healthcare now. You got to remember. So the lady was saying, Casey, I filled out a bunch of information a while ago. And she said, I only got X amount of days before they, uh, before they scrapped that application. And we got to start all over. I think it was like, it was like a certain amount of hours. I ain't even gonna say it was days. It was like some hours. And she was like, look, man, I really need your help. Get me in this program. You know, she said, uh, you know, we're kind of struggling over here. We need all the help we can get. Um, you know, the situation was was something like, uh, you know, it's a classic situation. Family members get sick. People around you is is rallying and, and they're doing the best that they can. And they, you know, picking up the ball. And they running with it. They dribbling. They doing all the stuff they supposed to do. But guess what? Financial crunch was on. It's hard to go outside, leave the house and make some money when you have to be home to take care of somebody. I don't even know if y'all know, but the oldest job out here, the oldest, most respected job out here is probably the caregiver. You know what I mean? While them other cats was going off, they was fighting wars, they was building buildings, they was doing structures. I don't know what they was doing. There was some people that had to fall back and take care of some other people. You know what I mean? They was called caregivers. You know what I mean? Right now, being as though the world is, is the way it is and don't nobody really care too much about other people, I like to call the people who care about other people big-hearted caregivers because, you know, we care about each other. You know what I mean? So the lady was saying, she was saying, hey, KC, only got a couple more hours. I'm going to say hours because it was really like a small, finite amount of time that she had to get everything through. And I made like 35 phone calls for her. You know, she had an awesome case manager. I'm always on here and I'll be, I be talking bad about the bad case because there's some case managers that suck. Like, they absolutely suck. You know what I mean? Like, if they fell off the earth, nobody wouldn't look for them. But this past week, I've been running into some excellent case managers. I mean, excellent. The one lady, after I helped, after I helped this lady out, the case manager called me and thanked me. I said, wow. She said, look, Casey, if it hadn't been for you... I wouldn't even have been able to sign the lady up. And I said, yo, I really touched my heart. I said, yo, that's a beautiful thing. Like, I'm always helping the people. But I figured out from helping her, I actually helped uh, the lady who was trying to help her all along. They just have, was having a, a, a miscommunication, a communication problem. KC plugged it all together, man. That's what I do. I'm the in-home health care plug, man. I'm the boss of this. You know, if you need me, call me. We're not going to let you suffer. If you Medicaid long-term health care plan, we're going to put the paycheck to your pocket. You feel me? Ain't no use you struggling. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. It's some money out here for you. You need to get it. Also, I got to go. 
I gotta go. But shout out to uh, to my friends over at uh, what's the name of the department? Um, I don't know, but we got a super grant. Uh, Reliable Aid Inc. They gave us a super grant to get a whole bunch of uh, uh, PPE, personal protective equipment. I said, wow, because this COVID thing is rapid, man. Y'all got the mask up. Y'all got the glove up. You got the, we got, we gonna, we gonna do it all. Look, I got some masks and I got a whole bunch of good stuff on the way. Thank you for all the people that helped us out, Reliable Aid, with that. Because all we gonna do is help the people. You know what I mean? Also, if you need any help, call me 302-689-3240. Miss Ludia was nice enough to put it in the comments. Look, I love you, man. Don't let nobody shame or blame you into doing your thing. You know, taking care of people is a good thing. If you're not trying to take care of people, man, you know, I don't know. You, you just, you're just a selfish person, man. And we ain't selfish over here, you know what I mean? Ain't no fun unless my friends can get some. And you here with me, man. I love you. Thanks for supporting me, man. I'm going to talk to you soon. I'm out. Big hearted caregiver. Don't forget to catch me on these other channels and these other uh, networks. You know, we all over the place right now. All right. I love you. Take it easy.